Incident occurring when, Kelly? Yes, I'm sorry. Um, I heard you say it was an incident occurring when. Oh, um, we show the date of incident was July 24th, 2015. No. 24, 2016. The farmers. Okay, we have this set up with an incorrect date a lot, so I will make sure to um, get that corrected. So, okay, we'll go back in the date of incident is February 4th, 2016. Mona, would you please state your full name and spell your last name for me? My full name is Mona Teresa Seaton, and my last name is spelled S-E-A-T-O-N. And Mona, you understand that I'm recording our conversation? Yes, I understand. And Robert, you understand and that stands with your permission as well? Yes, I, I uh, understand and you have my permission. Okay, perfect. Mona, what is your home address, please? 855 Harris Avenue with an H, San Diego, California, 92154. I'm going to crank up my volume a little bit. I'm sorry, what's the name of your city or town? San Diego. Got it. Your date of birth, please? August 17, 1963. No, I said August 17th, 1963. Okay, I'm just getting a little bit of background noise. I'm not sure why, uh, but that's okay. We'll push through. And um, your social security number, please. 568-494-593. Okay, and we will correct our date of loss to February 4th, 2016. About what time did this occur? Uh, approximately 2.13 to 2.16 p.m. <clears throat> what were the weather conditions like that day? It was warm and it was nice. Okay, um, I'm going to stop the recording and get you off the speakerphone. I'm having a hard time hearing you. Okay. Okay, so we're not recording from this part or from this point forward. Okay, so the weather was warm and where did the incident occur? Uh, it occurred at 7695 um, Cardinal. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you clearly. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you clearly. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. You might have a mute. Hello? We're here. Hello? We're here. Can you hear me? Yes. She, she's got a technical problem. Yeah. That's not Verizon. It's not Samsung. You hear a lot of rustling. No, I think what happened, somebody hit a mute on her end of the phone. Uh, this is Robert Burns again. Oh, hey, Robert. Sorry, uh, I lost sound. Can you, you can hear me okay? Yeah, we can hear you all right. But it was apparent to us that you had some kind of mute going on on your end. Okay. So uh, we'll get back on track, and again, I'm not recording. I was having a really hard time hearing Mona. So Mona, what was the, where was where did this incident occur? It occurred at Cabrillo Medical Center, located at 7695 Cardinal Court in San Diego, uh, California, 92123. And did it happen inside or outside? Outside. And if you would, walk me through what happened. Um, after my dermatologist referral appointment with Dr. Robert Nam. Why don't you spell that? Um, I'm sorry, Walter Nam, W-A-L-T-E-R. Last name is spelled N-A-H-M, Walter Nam. 
Um, my daughter and I, we waited on the first floor downstairs by the elevators after we left uh, his office. I complained about the air conditioning being too cold and the climate of the air conditioning. I asked my daughter to call for our uh, ride uh, with secure transportation to pick us up to return home. And it was just getting too cold for me, so I went, uh, I wanted to go outside. And that's where we went. We went outside. Um, it was nice, nice day. It was warmer, and I enjoyed that it was warmer than it was inside. And she didn't really want to go. She was insisting upon us not going outside. Uh, she wanted to sit down. There was seating inside the building. There was no seating outside. So I went outside with her, and we, we looked around for somewhere to walk because we were in the actual parking lot where the cars were coming in to the entrance so we saw uh, a sidewalk and we went over to the sidewalk uh, which was left of us and we walked down the sidewalk and when we got to a certain point where the cab drivers could come in and it was close to the entrance we stopped and we waited there and we were talking along the way about the appointment and the opinions of the doctor, things that were said at that time. Um, I asked her to hold some things for me after we stopped. She held my purse and my medicine bag, and I saw the cab driver calling on my cell phone. And I was trying to get my cell phone so I could um, talk to the cab driver. As soon as I saw my cell phone ringing, I saw it ringing. I didn't hear it ringing. I saw it because you can see her, the lights flashing, coming on. Uh, the cab driver was pulling inside, right into the entrance. I pointed at the cab driver as my daughter was facing me. And I turned to go walk to the side of the sidewalk to go get in the cab. But before I even got my foot off the ground, I stepped on something. I didn't know what it was at the time. And I, in the turn, as I turned right, um, I put my foot, my right foot back to turn my body to go get in the cab. I fell on something. I just, I was trying to get her to grab me. And I couldn't speak. I just couldn't say anything. You could just see me just going back. I could just feel it. I was like quiet. I was stunned. My mouth was open. I was reaching for my daughter. And she tried to get me, she was reaching for me, I was reaching for her, and neither one of us got a hold of each other. All I knew is the next thing, I was on top of some bushes. And uh, I was screaming. I was, I, was, I was hurting, I was in a lot of pain. What hurt? My left foot, my foot was hurting. And I was grabbing yeah. it, I was holding it, and uh, yeah. And uh, she was trying to help me up. And then what happened after that? She was trying to help me up, and I told her, go get the cab driver. Don't help me up. And I was grabbing my foot, and she was trying to pick up things, and she ran to get me some uh, water from a, um, a building that was close by. And she came back. She was trying to get me. I said, go get the cab driver. She went to go get the cab driver. The cab driver came to help me up. I was screaming. I was in pain. He was helping me on one side. She was helping me on the other side. I kept telling her, don't help me. I was scared she would fall. I was scared she was going to get help, uh, help, hurt. I was just like, get me out of here, you know. And he was very nice, that cab driver. He didn't have to come help me. He helped me get up. He helped me get in the cab. And he said, uh, why don't you just put some, uh, soak it in some water, put something on it. And I was getting ready to say, him, say to him, take me to the hospital. But he caught me in my thought. He said, you could just go home and soak it. And I said, you think I should go home and soak it? And he said, yeah. And I was just, I was in a lot of pain. I was screaming. I was hurting. And it, and so it did took you us go home. to the hospital that day or that evening? No, I went home. He took me home. And uh, when did you first seek 
medical treatment? Uh, March 16th. Can you say something happened on the 14th? Of March? Yeah. No. I may have, but uh, I looked over my records. I went to my primary March uh, 16th. So on March 16th, you go to your doctor. And what did your doctor tell you? Um, I didn't get to see him. I got to see his uh, PA. She said... She couldn't tell me what was wrong. She did x-rays. And I said, what's wrong with it? It's black. It's swollen. It's not getting well. I've been sitting at home hoping it's going to get well. What's wrong with my foot? She says, I don't know. It doesn't look good. Let me just take x-rays. I can't tell you. So I took x-rays on the 18th. And they told me it was broken. And that's why I wasn't getting any better at home. With the soaking and the Epsom salt and alcohol and ice and heat. Everything we were trying to do, elevating it, it wasn't getting any better. In fact, it turned black. And my ankle, it was radiating all the way up to my knee. And uh, I hurt my back, too. Uh, in my rib, my rib cage on the left side. I told the doctor my back was hurting. I guess that's where I fell into the bush. I fell in my back, broke my fall to a point. Also, my daughter, when we figured it out later, my daughter stepped on my foot. That's how it broke, trying to catch me after I stepped on the, um, what is that thing called? It's some type of curbside gate inside the, uh, some, some, some type of pavement that they built there. So... I was trying to um, get her to grab me because I was falling. I was trying to catch myself, almost did. And when she, she, she stepped on my foot trying to grab me, trying to stop my fall, break my fall. That's what we believe. How my Is it a bone broke. in your foot that's broken or is your ankle broken? It's a bone in my left, second left toe that's broken. And it affected my whole. How far it is from the toenail? Because the, the toe is the part we usually think of the toe, but it actually goes further in there, and the lack of better term, the webbed area. Yeah. And the doctor said the mid toe was affected too, like the instep. Let's see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so you're saying the part of the toe that's broken is inward from the webbed area, right? Not one part, not the, the extended part. Like, look at my finger. Uh -huh. This between my fingers is kind of a webbed area. Is it interior of that, or is it? It would be. It would be here. Oh, the this part is where it's broken. Okay, right there where it. Uh, yeah. Where you see the toe attached to the rest of the foot. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. That's where it's Just broken. Just trying to help this lady understand, since I didn't know either. Um, a curb, a sidewalk, and it's um, deep within the, uh, underneath the sidewalk is some type of uh, guard. And drain, right? Yeah, to keep rodents and bushes and leaves and things like that out of it. This thing is open. It's supposed to be closed to keep whatever is on the property out of the hole, the drain, you know. But it, it wasn't closed. In fact, a portion of it was open because it was at an angle, and a large push, portion of it was open. And it had some type of gate there, like a screen. That was sharp. Thank God I didn't cut myself. Um, thank God I didn't go all the way back and hit my head and my back. I went at an angle and fell into the bushes that were there. There were some large bushes that, that are there. Thank God that, you know, it wasn't anything more serious. And it's sort of down inside, inside of a drain or a drain to run off, sort of down and something like that. It's hard to describe. I'm not no professional.